Watermarking or adding a watermark is where you superimpose text onto a document. There are several reasons why you might want to watermark a document. For example, you might want to mark it as a draft, like my document that's on the screen. And it, once you add the watermark, it will appear on all pages within that document just by adding it once. Uh, some other choices for labeling a document for its status might be copy or sample or confidential. You can also use watermarks to identify the entity or the individual who created the work. This uh, document was created by a team of consultants at Oakland Schools. And if it were to be shared out with the districts and they were using it, they would be reminded where the information came from because the OS logo is there as the watermark. Another idea for using watermarks is you can also use them to visually enhance documents with a subtle image. So we're gonna try that on the snow document in just a minute here. But first let's add a text watermark to the snow article. So again, to do that, you're just gonna go up to the insert menu, slide down to watermark, and a side panel will open on the right side. It has two tabs and we're gonna select the text tab. Up at the top of the text tab, you can enter your word and I'm gonna put in the word sample and you'll see that it appears on the document as it will be unless I make any changes. I have a few formatting options where I could change to a different font if I thought that might help make it more readable so I can go through and see if any of these fonts make it better or if indeed I should have stuck you know, with the default choice. So let's try that one. I can uh, change the transparency by making it lighter if I want it to be a little bit easier uh, for the user to read the text that's uh, on top of the watermark. I can make it horizontal I tend to prefer diagonal, but you can experiment with that. And then indeed you can even put it in front of the text if you want to partially block what's there uh, just to give uh, another clue that this is not the actual uh, article to be used. And once you have all of your formatting uh, choices selected, you can go ahead and click done. And now that watermark is on your document. If you ever want to edit, your watermark or delete it, uh, say this becomes a, a finished product, uh, then you can go ahead and you can right click somewhere in the area of the watermark, slide up, select the watermark, and then find this edit watermark off the bottom corner and click it. You could then make any changes that you wanted to make or you could remove it, which I'm going to do because I want to add an image watermark. So I'm going to remove the watermark and now it is gone. I'm going to click on the image tab and when you're making an image watermark, you want to have your image ready to go ahead of time. Uh, so I've prepared a snowflake to go with the snow article and I'm going to go ahead and get that uploaded into the uh, document. And so now here's the image and here's what it looks like on the page. I could change the scale within those percentages. I can make it faded or not faded, but if it's not faded, then it covers up the text. And I also have more options right here. And this is where I could change some features of the side if I wanted to make it uh, smaller. I can use these menus here. I can change the width and height. I can rotate it if that makes any sense. I can change the position on the page. They have some default positions that you can select. I can even do some recoloring. I can change how uh, dark or light it is. I can do all kinds of changes. And when I'm done with these, there's no done button. I simply have to X out of these options and then I can click done. And now my image watermark is there on my paper. Again, if I want to edit this or remove it, I simply right click in the area of the watermark, choose select watermark, 
find the edit watermark link and now I have those options available uh, to me to work with. So that's all there is to adding a watermark to your document and I hope you will try it out soon and find many useful ways to use them.